Hi, we are the Queen's Space Engineering team from Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario. Welcome to our Systems Acceptance Review for URC 2021. During the past two years, our team has been able to make great strides in increasing the reliability and functionality of our rover systems, all while working remotely. During this video, we will show the amazing work that the team has accomplished over the past year and our readiness for the missions at URC 2021. Over the past two seasons, the mechanical team has completely overhauled all major subsystems of the QSET rover. In the 2020 season, our design goals were to optimize mass while increasing ride height to clear rough terrain as encountered during URC 2019. These goals were accomplished by redesigning the rockers using topology-optimized aluminum extrusion and implementing airless tires. These tires are built with flexible TPU 92A print material treads and PLA topology optimized hubs. The tread geometry went through a series of design iterations to optimize traction, weight, and durability, which is essential for the extreme retrieval task. The wheel system was designed for ease of installation and can be replaced in less than 60 seconds, and each wheel has improved system mass by two pounds. For the 2021 season, the mechanical team set out to overhaul two main rover systems, the chassis and arm, while continuing to optimize weight and functionality of many other subsystems. The goal of the chassis redesign was to make use of last season's weight savings by increasing the usable size of the electrical bay. This was accomplished by using a combination steel frame and aluminum sheet metal body design. The newly manufactured chassis system weighs less than the previous chassis while increasing usable surface area by 490%. Last year's robotic arm underwent significant testing and validation for performance during a simulated equipment servicing mission. While all tasks could be performed with the 2020 arm, speed and operator precision were hindered by belt-driven components and mechanical backlash in the system. This year, the team has developed a new arm to solve these issues. The 2021 arm implements direct-driven joints and duplex worm gears to eliminate operational backlash. The elbow joint is now driven using a linear actuator for improved torque and rigidity, and the arm has improved operational distance. The new arm is lighter, faster, and more precise, which will directly improve our performance during the equipment servicing and extreme retrieval tasks. A major change to our electrical system this year was the implementation of an NVIDIA Jetson TX2 to improve compute power for our autonomous navigation system. Our power system has been upgraded to implement a third lithium polymer battery to provide power to the Jetson, while the existing dual battery switching system has been improved by adding a new custom battery monitors that allow a measurement of each battery cell individually to determine the optimal point to switch batteries. For software, this year's primary focus was on improving autonomous navigation and localization. The navigation system received a complete rewrite, moving from a very basic avoidance to an avoidance system based on a local cost map and dynamic window local planner. The localization has seen significant improvements with the EKF configuration being improved and the addition of wheel odometry and an RTK GPS for centimeter accurate global location. The RTK GPS will also improve our search pattern by allowing the rover to more accurately determine where it has already searched. The obstacle detection system has been completely rewritten, implementing two new Intel D435 depth cameras and a custom PCL-based obstacle detection algorithm feeding into the local cost map. This algorithm determines which obstacles we can safely drive over versus which must be avoided. The final major change this year was to the driver interface, with a new PyQT-based user interface being implemented to allow for easier modification and maintenance in future, as well as integrating camera and other sensor streams into the GUI during teleoperation. Our communication system uses a 2.4 GHz antenna, which gives adequate teleoperation distance with range up to a kilometer, and last year the team upgraded our PID and inverse kinematics controller for a precise control in the XY plane from a pilot. Our controllers have also been upgraded for the 2021 arm. This year, QSAT has completely redesigned the scientific payload, which classifies soil samples as supporting extinct, extent, or no life. Additionally, the team has redesigned the embedded sensor system, which measures environmental habitability. Wet chemical tests will identify the presence of proteins, lipids, and nitrates. The virat reagent tests for proteins, while the sedan stain test identifies lipids, indicative of extent and extinct life, respectively. Additionally, the diphenyl amine test is a viable method for nitrate identification. Indicators will change color depending on the presence or absence of each biomolecule, and the results will be validated by both a UV-Vis spectrometer and a Raspberry Pi camera. The onboard laboratory, which houses the wet chemical tests, is fully automated and implements a rotating carriage design. Leaks and contamination have been reduced by depositing each sample into a self-contained sieve and funnel, segmented to prevent reuse. Soil is then deposited into single-use cuvettes with wet chemical solutions fully enclosed. The carriage then rotates to view each sample. A sensor suite will detect soil moisture content, temperature, pressure, humidity, dust, methane, and radiation, which lets the team generalize overall site conditions. The team has also developed a geological classification system for faster soil and rock identification. Emphasizing contaminant reduction and sample analysis, the scientific payload is capable of fully assessing environmental conditions and the presence of life in situ. This year, we've also designed new testing equipment and driver training plans to ensure that we'll be ready for every competition mission. With the great work that QSA has done over the past two years, we are confident in our ability to succeed at URC 2021.